<laughs> All right, so Peggy Lorty, would you please come up? Today is the last Sunday in November as of National Native American Heritage Month, as signed by a presidential proclamation. Did you read or did you see what the proclamation also said? It said the last Thursday, November 29, is American Indian Day. How many of y'all knew that? Not too many of us know it. Hardly nobody observes it. Now, probably the next question you're asking is, well, what was this thing about then? You live in Dallas, you live in Texas, you should know. And most of y'all were there at our Lone Star celebration, so you do know. But it was a passage of a bill that became a law for last Friday in September is continuously forever American Indian Heritage Day in Texas. And then um, I want to ask you a question. If I was to tell you, close your eyes and repeat the name of the title, would you be like Eugene? Forget some of the words here? <laughs> now this is very, very important. You Texas people, you Dallas people, a lot of y'all were in our program. A lot of you we've known forever. You should know this by memory and you should be proud to promote it wherever you go because this is something that's been unusually done in the state of Texas in such a short time. How important is it to, to you to say, I am American Indian, I'm a Native American. In my situation, I can say I'm a full blood American Indian. I'm a citizen of the Choctaw Nation. I'm an educator. I'm a cultural teacher. I'm an advocate for Indians. I'm an Indian Christian. I'm an Indian widow. I'm an Indian mother, and on and on and on. What can you say, say an Indian in front of you and put an adjective afterwards? You carry many ties being American Indian. Let's hope that you're very, very proud of it. In some situations, I've ran into people that are not proud that they're American Indians. Let's hope that if you even have an inkling of that, that you'd reverse your thinking and be very proud. As an organization in Dallas, we see the American Indian Chamber of Commerce just closed. That means that the Urban Indian Travel Center is the only entity existing in a big city like Dallas. We have the merging of the American Indian Heritage Day. The American Indian Heritage Day is made of young leaders. We know that we desperately need young leaders in the city of Dallas. Let's support them whenever they ask you to come and be part of their program. Let's support them when they ask you for your attendance because these are the young leaders. And we've got younger leaders that needs to be involved, but sometimes us older leaders won't give up our position. We won't mentor those younger people. We've had a big gap in our leadership, but finally we've got some that's merging through this American Indian Heritage Day in Texas. So let's be sure to support them. And in fact, December 7th at Mountain View Junior College, we're having the extension of the videotaping of the community people. And some of you are in that video. Come out to Mountain View Junior College at Treetop Lounge, six, starting at 6 o'clock, and see uh, the video. And it won't be the full length, but uh, because this is two and a half hours, the video we have is about 16 hours, so somewhere along the way we're wanting to make that available for everybody to see it and listen to the stories that each and every one of you have gone through if you were for fortunate enough to re have it recorded. If you weren't, well, let us know. We'd like to have your story because this is the technology of today, video and taping, so that your family, your next generation can see you speaking to them and you sharing. And let's not be the invisible Indians. Let's be 24-7, 365 days a week, 52 days a week, uh, 52 weeks a year. We are special because God made us Indians. Thank you.